I move that. Does it matter? Yeah. <laughs> Coach, if you make an opening statement, I will take questions. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I commend uh, Coach Henson, his staff, their players, uh, for the way they came out and played. They set the tone early. Desperate, more determined to get a win. Uh, also, our heart uh, gone out to Coach Henson for what he's had to go through this year, and they've had a lot of close losses uh, from games they could have just had to run to. So they, those guys have continued to compete, continue to com play hard, and uh, that's what we expected. I mean, I don't think the players get that expected anyway, but we allowed a uh, team that started three freshmen. Uh, when we're starting three, basically four seniors, for them to, to dictate how the rest of the game went right in the first start. We turned it over. We tried to be quick on offense, which has been an Achilles heel when we haven't played well. And they just absolutely dominated the offensive glass. And I think they probably got all the 50-50 balls as well. So uh, I'm disappointed in us because you can never let somebody um, want it more than you, especially with, with some of the things that maybe we thought we had at, at stake. Uh, so I'm disappointed, awfully disappointed in how we played and then uh, uh, just really give Southern Illinois a lot of credit for, for the way the game turned out. Greg, their ability to get those offensive boards early just seemed to sap the energy out of your guys. I mean, that, that's got to be really difficult for you to explain. It is, Todd. We, you know, we have a lot of good defensive possessions doing exactly what we wanted to do. Um, Following the game plan and doing those things, and it, but we've done it this year. It's uh, when that ball goes up, we got five guys gravitating towards the basket and being ball watchers, and and that, that's a strength of theirs. You know, that, um, Bola had six offensive rebounds last game himself, so he came right out and did it again this time. So it's, you know, it's uh, you got to finish possessions. It's uh, you know, defense and rebounding, and then you know, obviously in the second half. It, they got layup, 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 I think, to start the, the second half. And although we played hard down the stretch, it was, I mean, it, the game was over. Offensively, Southern played at a pretty slow pace. And they, and they made you defend for long stretches, even if you take the offensive rebounds out. And then you add that yeah. in. And it seemed like, you know, maybe a little bit of the hurry on the offensive end was because they, you were expending a lot of energy on the defensive end, and it seemed to affect the offense a little bit. Well, it does, you know, and but <laughs> this in, in our league, teams aren't just going to let you dribble down and get layups. Um, you're going to have to work the basketball. I don't care who you play, uh, from Wichita to any of the rest of us. You know, good defenses, they know what they want to take away from you. Uh, they make things difficult. They, they take your strengths away. They make you move the basketball. And, yeah, I mean, it, you, you have to have some, some – we knew they'd slow it down. You have to have some patience on the defensive end and know – that you on that when that shot goes up, you darn well better block out and go get it. Otherwise, you're going to be guarded for 30 seconds again. So, again, that's to the credit of Southern Illinois, and, and, and they asserted their will on us. When you, Greg, why did you uh, did they struggle against the zone most of the year? Why did you use more of that tonight? That's that's a, probably a good question. Um, we we did some of the things we wanted to do defensively uh, with helping. Um, uh, we would have probably, if the game was closer uh, after the start, we probably would have used some more zone. But, you know, they're they, when they got up, especially in the second half, we probably could have more in the first half. But in the second half, they're up double digits. And we want to try to pick the, the speed of the game up a little bit, which we didn't do a very good job of. But I think it would have been a little tighter. You know, and we had good possessions. You know, we had good defensive possessions in the first half. We just didn't finish them. They got those second shots. So second half, it was more of, of some other things. But... Uh, in the first half, we had a lot of good defensive possessions. We just didn't finish them. Did you get any film on Bowler? Yeah. Every game they played this year. Greg, how concerned are you? You're down nine at halftime, and even though the first half was poor, you know it's still a manageable deficit, but the inability to, to answer the bell from a veteran team at that, yeah. how concerned are you about that? Well, I'm concerned about it. We've won a lot of games when, when we finish the game off uh, uh, pretty well. But the start, start of the second half, you know, obviously we're talking at halftime. 
um, about finishing possessions. I think they got I think they got right to the rim and got three layups uh, in their first three possessions. I know Manny took a quick three. I think we had a turnover. So the, and then the guys start hanging their heads because because they know that. Um, the things that we talk about, the things that we focused on, we just weren't doing a good job with, you know. And obviously, Southern Illinois has got good players, and they had a lot to do with that. There's a couple times in the second half, it looked like he might grab the momentum when the flagrant foul, they missed the free throws, turned it over, and uh, and then the, the one time they went about three minutes without scoring, and Bean went off on seven straight. I mean, just a couple of missed opportunities there. Or? Yeah, you know, you're flying around, you're down, you're trying to make something happen. We're playing a little out of character and trying to do things that we don't work on in practice um, and trying to get back into the ball game. You know, our, the game was, was lost, uh, you know, in the first 30 minutes or the first 25 minutes, not, not after that. We, we, we started flying around. We fouled a lot. We started flying around and, and trying to make things happen. But you have to play with that kind of desperation when the ball goes up at the start of the game. Yeah, can you, I mean, again, getting back to the guys answering the bell, I mean, it didn't seem like the urgency was there. I mean, did you? How do you how do you get that out of the guy? I mean, you don't you don't want to turn one game into a trend, but you know how do you how do you get that out of those guys? Well, if I'd have known before the game, I'd have certainly tried. But um, you know, we talk about and we we said uh, before the game, you know, this is a uh, a game you have to earn the victory. You know, we were talking about you have to earn the victory. They sure, sure as heck weren't going to give it to us, and they didn't. They they played with a tremendous such sense of urgency. And we didn't at the start, you know. And um, you try to get you try to get guys to understand that. We and I'm telling you, our last two weeks of practice have been outstanding. The guys have been uh, playing at a really good pace, and to, to come out and start like that was really disappointing. Both fans. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.